Okay, well, a good screen to be on, if you take it all the way on the back button to the left, all the way back, you're going to have AC stuff and DC stuff. The battery symbol is by the DC stuff and the sine wave symbol is by the AC stuff, which is essentially your inverter screen. What the inverter is doing, what's coming in, what's going out, what it's all up to. Uh, you can graph that and do stuff like that, but... Uh, Probably the more important screen to usually be on is the DC stuff. And it's giving you the um, amps coming in from the array and the amps going out of the system to DC loads. And the net amps into the battery. So you got amps in, amps out, and the net would be that. And the state of charge is always in the upper right hand corner, currently at 99% gives you some other stuff. It's kind of interesting to graph this. Here's the battery voltage um, for the uh, the day. If you look on these graphs, it says 8-1. August 1 is right in the middle, and then each one of these little ticks is uh, 2 hours. So that's 6 a.m., and you can see where the sun came up this morning. Ramped up, took it up to the uh, bulk voltage setting, held it there for the absorption period, dropped it down to float. I then put in an equalizing charge for a little while and uh, that's where you see that burst. If you go to the next you'll get some of the other uh, screens. There's a state of charge screen. I just said we're at 99% so you can see how close that end item is there. Then you have the three shunts. Shunt A is the primary shunt and uh, shunt B is, uh, I can't remember if it's loads or solar. Uh, looks like it's solar, judging by the shape of those uh, peaks. And then there's uh, DC loads, which is shunt number C, or shunt C, which is written right along the side there. And this is in watts, DC loads. Uh, let me see, and then it just cycles back through those same screens. So I'm going to hit uh, stop.